All right, so to start, you're gonna wanna pull out your triangle foundation. Place it relatively low. You don't have to place it like super low or super high, just make it a medium height. And then you're gonna wanna make what looks to be an octagon. And once you do, once you do that, then you're just gonna stone everything out. And then once you're done stoning everything out, then you're gonna take, you're gonna go to a wall frame, place it on that side. And then you're gonna take your doorway, place doorways on all the other sides. And then you're just gonna stone everything out. This is so you could place your vending machines and your door down. Once you're done stoning everything out, then you're gonna fill in that with the door. Make sure the door is facing outwards. You're gonna wanna place a triangle foundation above, or a triangle floor above, and a triangle floor away. Place your triangle ladder hatch right there so you'll be able to get in and out. Just like that, super easy. Stone everything out up top. Once that, once everything's stoned out, then you can fill in the walls. So to start, you're gonna place a wall there. It may stay invalid at first, just jump up, move around. Then on the very edge over there, you're gonna place a window frame. This also means you should have some strength in glass windows. Then fill everything else in, and then you're gonna fill the roof in. Once we fill the roof in, we'll stone everything out. And now we're gonna stone everything out. And this is a very low cost build because you won't have to worry about using any wood and top of the stone is very low and so is the metal. So once you're done stoning everything out, then you're gonna wanna grab your strengthened glass window, place it there. And then as I just realized, I forgot to stone out that, so. And then I'm gonna go down the hatch. And this is where I can place all my vending machines. Make sure the window is facing outwards. Make sure you can't see the window. Now it's a little harder on console, but it's definitely possible to make sure you don't see the window. Because if that's the case, it's gonna be the opposite direction when you place it. Then you're gonna wanna take a bear rug and just place a bear rug in the middle of the floor. Then you want two tuna can lamps. You're gonna place them in those places at the bottom. This gives us perfect lighting throughout the whole bottom. And then you're gonna go upstairs. Now once you're upstairs, you're gonna get ready because you're gonna place down a few doorways, a door frame, and then you're gonna get a half wall, place it there, and then you're gonna get a triangle, and you're gonna place that there. This is because you can't place that triangle without placing a half wall. And then we'll just break the half wall afterwards. And then you can just uh, finish off by doing the rest of the wall frames around there. Create like a little area, you know, like a little pillar in the middle. This is just easier if you ever want to put a door in the middle, which I don't really see that being possible, but yeah, just stone everything out. Then you're going to take all four of your large chests, and you're going to place them directly under. It's okay if they stick out a little bit. It's going to happen. So you're going to place one there. You're going to jump up top, and then you're going to place one there. It is a little bit hard to place the one on the second one on top. You may need a second large chest actually to place the second one on top because that's what I have to do. I had to get another large chest to jump on top of and place it. But so far we can place our TC and we can grab our furnaces and our workbench. This works with a workbench level one, two, or three. In this case, I'm just gonna use a level one. So you can just throw your level one against that wall right there. Don't know why I had a little bit of trouble there, but then you can take our, then you can take our locks and you're gonna place a lock on every single chest and then every single T, also the TC. But see, what I had to do is I had to place another large chest down to get up there because it was a little bit difficult. For you, you can just pick up the large chest and then you have like an extra large chest somewhere. I don't know, place it somewhere you want, if you have room. Then place a lock on the ladder hatch and place a lock on the door once you come back up. Now, the only thing left is to place the rest of the tuna can lamps, which you can obviously add more fuel. I didn't add any fuel right now, but so you're gonna place the tuna can lamps up against this wall right here next to the window. And then you're gonna move over by the ladder hatch Place it right there, and then voila. And now you're just gonna place a sleeping bag. Now you go outside, and we're just gonna place the rug on the outside as like a little flag or to give, like it's a little flag to give it a little bit of texture. Just rotate it sideways. Now you have the best base.